Hero 28 is rolling into the lineup in today's developer update. I'm Jeff from the Overwatch team. I'm very excited to introduce to you Wrecking Ball. Now you might be wondering who Wrecking Ball is, so we should talk about the little guy's background a little bit. So on the Horizon Lunar Colony, we already know that experimentation was happening with animals, which led to our favorite talking gorilla, Winston, being not only highly intelligent, but able to communicate with us human beings. Well, on the side, they were doing experimentation with other animals as well. And Hammond, who is a hamster, ended up growing not only quite large, but also gaining a lot of intelligence himself. Now, when the apes of the lunar colony went crazy and revolted and attacked the scientists there, we know that Winston escaped, but what we're going to learn is that Hammond hitched a, a ride in an escape pod along with Winston off of the moon. Now, as they were hurtling towards planet Earth, Hammond's pod broke off and landed in a different location. We know that Winston ended up landing at Watch Point Gibraltar, where he sort of set up his home base. But Hammond landed on the outskirts of Junkertown in Australia. Now, while this might have been an overwhelming challenge to some, Hammond really embraced the moment, and he took it as an opportunity to modify his escape pod into a devastating mech. Now, nobody in Junkertown knew that Hammond was actually a hamster, and he competed in the Queen's gladiatorial combat for some time, actually winning numerous times, unbeknownst to anybody that he was actually a hamster. And they just knew him as Wrecking Ball, this devastating force that could win the gladiatorial combat over and over again. Now, Hammond is not a junker and not part of the junkers. He had a lot of fun winning their championship over and over again. And he used his mechanical skills to really modify that escape pod. But now he's moved on and he's sort of wandering the planet um, doing fun things. Now, there's certain things I should clarify for you. Hammond cannot talk. He does not speak English or any other language. That would be completely ridiculous, as we all know. However, the mech, which he highly modified, has communication abilities, so he can speak, in essence, through the mech. The mech itself has a minor AI in it that can also communicate. So the mech is not an Omnic, and Hammond is not a Junker. These are the most important things for you to know about his background and his backstory. Hammond is also uh, good friends with Winston. They're able to communicate to each other, uh, but Winston is not yet aware that Hammond has made his way back to the planet. So that's gonna be a bit of a surprise for everybody. Now, what you're all wondering is, what are Wrecking Ball's abilities? Wrecking Ball is a tank. I think he's one of the funnest tank characters we've ever added to Overwatch. The primary thing that he can do is shift into ball mode. So not only can he be a quadruped tank shooting his quad cannons, which are really devastating, high rate of fire, high spread, um, big impact guns that he has, but he can switch into ball mode and then roll around with devastating impact. Now, while in ball mode, he has a grappling crawl, uh, grappling hook that he can shoot out and grasp onto things that allows him to swing all over the place and really gain a lot of momentum. For our highly skilled players, you're gonna find a lot of nuance and fun in mastering this movement ability that will really get you into all sorts of unique situations. Now, if you swing up really high in the air and you use what would be the crouch button on any other character, it will cause Wrecking Ball to go into his pile driver move, which sends him hurtling towards Earth at a rapid speed and also doing a lot of devastating damage. He also has an adaptive shield ability because he's a tank. And the way this works is, if you just press the adaptive shield, you'll gain a minimum amount of shields every single time. But if you do the adaptive shield while you're surrounded by more enemies, you gain even more shields. So this really encourages Wrecking Ball to get into the fray, get into the middle of the enemy team, and then use that adaptive shield to be highly disruptive. Now his ultimate is a lot of fun. It's what we call a zoning ability, 
and it's minefield. So when Wrecking Ball presses his ultimate, it deploys a number of mines out in the area. They take a little while to arm, which gives people some time to get out of the way. They're very visible and very audible to the enemy team. But if the enemy team steps into the minefield, well, dev devastating explosions happen. Now, the intention for Wrecking Ball is for him to be a very disruptive, high mobility tank. And we think he's a ton of fun to play. We know that we have a lot of tank players. And we also have a lot of players who haven't quite found the tank for them yet. So we're hoping that Wrecking Ball brings a new element. We also know how much you like our Horizon Lunar Colony lore and the story going on there and characters like Winston. And we wanted to introduce you to more characters from the Horizon Lunar Colony. Plus, with his stint amongst the Junkers, he also brings in a little bit of that Junker flair that we hear uh, that you guys like so much. So all in all, we feel like Wrecking Ball is a great addition to the Overwatch lineup. He's really something different. He's really out there. We think you'll have a ton of fun playing him, and we're really looking forward to all the great things that you're going to do playing Wrecking Ball. Thank you. Mm -hmm.